Policemen, firefighters, mothers, fathers, prior gang members, all together in one room, all answering the same call to action to reduce violence in urban communities. There's no, no time for blaming uh, other people. There's no time for finger pointing. There's no time for divisiveness. We have to be in this thing together or we all lose. So today they've come together for a day of workshops and panels led by local community leaders and the organization Hope for the Inner City. We've identified four key areas that we believe that if we address and we put together an action plan that it can be the catalyst for on how we can begin to reduce violence in the urban community. Those four areas are education in the inner city, rebranding the urban church and its role in the community, police and community relationships, and reducing fatherless family units. Many in attendance say solving these issues isn't just about law enforcement anymore. It's going to take the community as a whole and the police agree. Uh, getting out in the community, uh, Get, police officers are getting out of their cars, introducing themselves to the neighborhoods they patrol. Ace Strafford is a street counselor for Father to the Fatherless, one of the programs showcased today. It's an educational program that helps young men who are disadvantaged or have been incarcerated get back into the workplace and into their communities. They provide job training and housing services. So that they may know that there's actually hope and there's actually help to get them out of their current situation and into a situation that would be positive, not just for them, but also for the community. And that was the message for today, one of hope and one for a positive future for urban communities.